Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you five design tips for Dinkum. I have been loving playing this game, and of course, more than anything, I've been enjoying designing in this game. So I wanted to share some tips with you today, some things that I've learned while I've been designing. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, this one isn't specifically geared towards designing, but I promise you if you do this, it will help immensely. And that is you want to collect as many materials as possible. I mean grass, I mean flowers, wood, stone, all of the things you want to have so many materials you don't know what to do with them because i promise you they go so fast for me someone who likes to have an area that's completely full and cluttered i go through so many materials especially grass seed because i want to have this darker grass for most of my town area, I have spent hours collecting grass seed, and I do feel like it's worth it at the end of the day, but there's nothing more frustrating than being in the middle of designing something and you don't have the materials you need to finish it. So I would think about the type of aesthetic that you're going for. Are you going for a more natural island like I am, or are you going for a more structured city style island? Depending on what your goal is, I would focus on collecting those specific materials. You will need a ton of stuff no matter what aesthetic you're going for. But if you wanna go natural, I would say collect a bunch of grass seed, flowers, bushes, etc. And if you're going for more of a city style island, I would say you need to get a lot of wood and a lot of stone because you're gonna have a lot of things that you need to craft. The next tip I have for you has to do with the water, and I absolutely love this about Dinkum, and that is that you can plant in the water. So I highly recommend you go and you get some of those flower seeds that you collected, you grab some of those bush seeds, even trees you can plant in the water. Anywhere that you can aim your cursor, you can plant something. So I have this pond on my island and I decided to build my base camp, build my entire town around this pond when I selected this map. But I would say find a body of water to decorate around. I feel like this is just so beautiful when it's done. I still have a lot more that I wanna add to it, but the more that I add, the more that I love it. Tip number three is to use tools and other items as decoration, even if they aren't meant for it. So I've got this wheelbarrow here and it's obviously not meant to be a decoration. You're meant to use it to move dirt and other things around, but I have this one here strictly as decor. I don't actually use this one. And I also have a watering can placed over by my crops. Now this I do use and obviously my crops, I need to replant. We need to start a new round of crops, but I do use this watering can and then I just always make sure that I place it back because I think it's really cute dropped over here next to the crops. I just feel like using items like this make your town feel so much more lived in. It feels like someone was farming or doing something and then they decided to stop and they just left their tools where they were. So I really love doing this around my town. The next thing I wanna talk about is adding height to your island, to the different areas that you're decorating. Height is so important, specifically height variation, because it really makes your eyes bounce off of different things and it just adds so much visual interest to an area. So for me, in this area, I'm using things like trees, the mush lamps, party lights. There's a ton of different stuff with the different height variations. You can also add cliffs to an area and then on top of that, add different items to create that interest around whichever area you're decorating. Another great thing about Dinkum is how easy it is to add different layers just by digging down one piece of dirt and then planting something. So you can see a lot of height variation within my pond and then using different size trees to vary things even more. So really make sure that you're paying attention to the different heights that you're using. And the last tip that I wanna talk about is pathing. I feel like pathing is so important and there are so many different ways that you can implement paths on your island. One of my favorite ways is this dirt style path. So I'm using the grass to actually form a dirt path 
And because I'm keeping my island really natural, I've made sure that I'm keeping curves and just different variations so it's not so straight or linear. And then I'm also varying the stone patterns within my dirt. There are obviously different ways you can do this. And depending on how natural or how structured you want your area to be, you can adjust how you're doing your pathing to suit whatever it is that you're going for. I do plan on varying my pathing in different sections on the island as well, so that's something to keep in mind. I just feel like whatever type of pathing you're using really adds an element of character to that area. So play around with different textures, different ways of doing your paths, and see how it changes up the area that you're working on. So those are my five tips that I have for decorating in Dinkum. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. Are you already implementing any of these tips in your islands right now? And also let me know if you wanna have more design tip videos in the future. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.